in order to live a healthier life, it's always best to cook yourself because you know what you're putting into your food. Mm. Healthy Fit Family, I hope you're hungry because I had to go out here and find a chef. I mean, you don't even understand. He's not even just a chef, he's an executive chef. He's out here in the community making moves. He's an educator. And I was like, wait, you gotta explain what that means. You're teaching me how to cook? Oh, and he also is one of the co-founders of Kitchen Cray. And we're gonna find out about that as well. But you know, Healthy Fit Family, without further ado, I have to introduce you. He the coolest chef. <laughs> That's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> to Chef Cool, no, wait, wait, no, Chef Jojo. Yes, Social media, all right. That's me, that's me. So, we're gonna get on his business, but we're out here at the expo. I just want him to explain what this event is about, where we are, and how many years has this been going on? Tell us what's going on out here. All right, so we're at the 26th annual uh, First Baptist Church of Glen Arden uh, Health Expo, mm -hmm. and um, they have all types of events going on. They have fitness uh, classes, they have uh, health, health screenings, mm -hmm. um, they have cooking demonstrations. And I was able to be one of the uh, chefs to do the uh, cooking demonstrations today. This is my third year uh, doing the uh, cooking demonstrations. Cooking demonstration? You yeah. guys missed it. Tell them what you cook. Tell them what you cook. I did a vegetable domain. Ah. It was good, yeah. And you make it seem like it was just simple. <laughs> it is, though. That's the thing. It was, it's very simple. But, like, I like, I'm very passionate about cultural foods. And, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm influenced by, uh, you know, different cultures. So, and I also like to uh, present foods that we like and kind of put like a healthier twist to it so you know people out here they like going to the Chinese carry out okay. so I'm gonna give okay. you a healthier version of uh, you know Chinese carry out oh, and he did it was a lot of fresh yeah. vegetables and he needed to squeeze some, squeeze some oranges on that thing <laughs> yeah, you gotta get that fresh yes acidic That's taste to what? it yeah. okay but I want to know and you need to tell us your story how did you just wake up one day and just fall in love with cooking food because I don't know a lot of men that's cooking out there. Yeah. I'm just saying. Just tell us your story. Well, I've only been cooking professionally for seven years now. Um, you know, I've been in the, in the D.C. area since 2001. Um, came out here for college. And the crazy thing about it is that, um, like, my original field was graphic design and digital art. So being a chef was the last thing on my mind at that time. How did you, how did you come from being a graphic well, artist to being a chef? I had hard times. I graduated and I couldn't find work. I couldn't find full time work in my original field. Mm -hmm. So um, I started working at a restaurant, and I started, you know, learning, um, the, you know, how to how to prep, right. learning how to make different sauces, and it was cool. But you know, at the time, though, see, I had my degree. I wanted to get into culinary school. But since I had my college degree, I couldn't get any grant money. I couldn't get any financial aid. So I had to come up with a plan B. And I'm a very spiritual person. So I, I prayed and I asked God, you know, to send a mentor, send somebody to train me and help, you know, because at the, cause at, 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 this is back in 2011, 2012. Oh. So that's when I figured out that this is what I wanted to do. Oh, wow. So I prayed and I asked God for a mentor. Mm -hmm. And I was able to meet uh, Chef J.R. Robinson. So, at the, so he was um, the he was the sous chef at uh, the Washington uh, Marriott Hotel. Mm. You know, Chef Jr. is um, he went on Hell's Kitchen, right? Yeah, he was on Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. That was your oh, he taught you. Yeah. Oh. So, I, so at, at so at that time, like I was already in the clique. I was already oh. there when he was in Hell's Kitchen, and. So this is before Kitchen Cray even started. Okay. You know, okay. at this time, you know, he was still working um, at the Marriott, and that's when he started training me. Um, Kitchen Cray was just an idea, you know. So we started doing like small events in people's homes. We called them kitchen takeovers. So kitchen we takeover? so we so we go over different people's houses in the DMV area, uh -huh. and we would take over their kitchen and give them a five star quality experience in the comfort of their own home. Wow. Yeah. Model. Yeah. That's amazing. See, I didn't know that. So he's he's an artist at heart. You just took your art and your creativity. And I flipped it. And Re you flipped it. I reinvented myself. With food. With food. That's amazing. Yeah. And I know y'all follow him. You see all his beautiful pictures of all these colorful foods. Oh my god. 
gosh. Okay, so that so that's where you are now. We wanted to know yeah. how this all started. Yeah, it's a long story, but you know, yes. what I try to do is I, I want to inspire people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to let them know like if things don't work out with with what you originally if things don't work out with what whatever you originally envisioned yourself doing, yeah. just come up with a plan B. And pray and you know just ask God for direction because that's what I did and here I am now. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah. so what you all what you don't know about him as well is he is heavy out here in the community and Chef JoJo loves the kids. So tell us what you're doing not only with these events because he's easy to catch. Y'all have to follow him so you can see where he is. But he's out here being an educator. So tell us about that. So that part of my, um, that aspect of my career came from working at um, the nonprofit Martha Stable. I, I worked there for four years, and um, I worked as a food, I worked there as a food educator. Mm. So um, my job was to, you know, get children excited about eating their fruits and vegetables through mm -hmm. um, cooking activities. Um, also, I would also do cooking demonstrations at some of our um, partner sites, um, showing you know the community how to. Not only like enjoy healthy food, but also making it flavorful and make, yeah, make, making it taste good. Yeah. Wow. Because there, there's a big misconception that eating healthy means that it's going to be bland. Yes. Nah, but you, you could definitely eat healthy and the food could be flavorful too. Ah, so. I like that. So he's out here in the community teaching the kids, which I think is amazing. Yeah. Yes. We have, a, we have our nonprofit called Kitchen. We have our nonprofit called Kitchen Cray Kids coming soon. What? So, what is that? What's... So, so Kitchen Cray Kids is going to be our, our nonprofit program, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a program that's going to be geared toward you know teaching children um, culinary skills, oh um, exposing kids, and, and, and like I really want to like focus on kids that are in areas that suffer from food insecurity, mm -hmm. um, children that you know just aren't exposed to the uh, different things that I have to offer. So, yeah. So it's gonna. So, so we're gonna teach them about. We're gonna teach them culinary skills. Mm -hmm. We're gonna um, expose them to, to different fruits and vegetables that they may have never seen before. Oh. So it's gonna be basically like a like a junior chef culinary school. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. So yeah. for those of you who have organizations already where you work with children, you would travel. To yeah. These oh, that, yeah. That's amazing. Connect yeah. with him. Okay. And we're, we're also gonna. Um, have our own like kitchen crate kids junior chef like kitchen too so ch children can come to us okay so. kitchen crate you're doing great things <laughs> you're doing great things yeah. oh wow well now we know how where he is but i just want him to go ahead and for those of you out there like your everyday person like me we might not have the skills that chef jojo has but maybe just kind of give us maybe your top three things that we could do to food prep, to eat healthier, because, you know, convenience is our thing. We go get yeah. that fast food, go grab some already ready-made roast chicken or something. Yeah. Just what can we do? Give us some help. We'll take advice. one day. There's seven days out the week. One day won't hurt you. Just pick one day out the week that you could dedicate to prep. If it's that important to you, you will definitely make the time. So take one day out the week just to prep and, you know, you don't have to cook everything all the way, you know, just like cook it halfway. And like, like, for example, if you're uh, making a salmon or steak, oh. just cook it halfway and then finish it off in the oven on the day that you want to prepare it. And everything else, like if you're making like a vegetable, like something with vegetables, just prep the vegetables up. And if you don't want to cook it ahead of time, just, you know, put it in the fridge. And on, on the day that you want to eat it, just put it in the oven mm -hmm. or, you know, put it in the pan, saute it, do whatever you want. It's all about preparation. It's all about planning ahead. And yeah. that'll help us be healthier. It'll help you. Well, it'll not always help you to be healthier, mm -hmm. but it, it'll also help you with like time management. Mm. Some of us need those skills. Yeah, <laughs> and just and it's, it's also like a lot of fun, and it's also challenging. And also, in order to live a healthier life, it's always best to cook yourself because you know what you're putting into your food. Mm. I like when that. you go out to different restaurants or whatever, you don't know what they're putting into your food. Right. Like, so, oh, that's good. Preparation is key, people. <laughs> so that's a good one. He said, just choose one day out of the week just where one. you're just chopping up your onions, cutting your bell peppers, put them away, so you'll have them all week. You have no excuse, and that's it. Well, that's all right because I had to talk to him because when I think of a chef, I think of people that cater. 
you're right. making big meals all the time, but yeah. he corrected me. See, I like to consider myself an exclusive private chef. See, it's all about the experience. I want you to be like, like five years from now, I want you to be like, yo, remember when we hired Chef Jojo to do that event for us? Like, <laughs> he was a good dude. I really liked that cat. Like, okay. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to have that type of lasting impression. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And Health and Fit Family, he connects with a lot of nutritionists and other health and wellness people and specialists here in the DMV because he'll do like a brunch and a boot camp. I mean, he's all about that, making sure that we're nourished the right way. Absolutely. So I really want to share Chef Jojo because y'all need to follow him. He be posting these pictures. You be wishing he was in your kitchen <laughs> because yeah. of what he has. Well, thank you for that. But I, last thing, you know, I just want you to tell everybody where we can find you. How could we follow you? Where you're at? Um, so y'all can y'all can follow me on Instagram at LL Cool Chef. So instead of LL Cool J, you got LL Cool Chef. You know, you got the LL Cool J, you got the LL Cool J swagger. But I'm a chef. You know what I'm saying? I just bring that into the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can find me, and y'all can also find me on, on Facebook at Chef Jojo. And mm -hmm. I think that's about it. That's, that's about it. Yeah. But well, do you have anything else to tell the health of the family? You know, anything else? You know? Any words? I just want to say. Um, it's just a blessing to like be doing what I'm doing right now to inspire so many people. And I just want to continue to grow and make as many, like I want to establish as many relationships and partnerships as I can. And you know, just take my skill set to another level and then also train other people that aspire to become chefs. So yeah. Oh man, thank you so much y'all. He's so humble. Thank you. <laughs> but out there he was serving it up. You know what I'm saying? So please follow Prep your food, and I'll see you next Sunday. Share. Bye, healthy family. Right, peace. <laughs> Woo, thank you. No problem. Okay, chef. Graphic designer. Yeah, oh, that was that was my beginning. What? Graphic designer.